Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a raccoon eyes and nude lip combo video and I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved that look in that one TikTok that I made. So we're just going to be doing this makeup right here. It is the dark smoky eye with the nude lip. So if you want to see this look and hear this creaky chair for however many minutes long, then just keep on watching. I'm already prepped. So like I'm moisturizing and everything. I'm just gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera because I can't really talk while I do my brows and I don't like do anything special with them. I just shove eyeshadow on them and then clean them up with a little brush. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. I successfully carved out my brows. So now I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. It's my fave. It really clogs in those pores. <laughs> Um, for real, it's like shellac, like, um, you know the stuff that you like fill holes in the wall with? I don't know what it's called, but it's literally that. And I put a bunch on my T-zone, T-fall zone, T-zone. Oh my god, this is so struggle bus with the long nails. Okay, I like this better than like professional for sure. It reminds me of the Tatcha, even though I've never had it, because I'm broke girl fabulous. I'm looking butch in this, in this video. Let's give me a boy. Do I prime my forehead ever? Um, not really, because I don't really have that many pores on there. I have wrinkles, and so we gotta keep the hydrating moisturizer on there. Cause this stuff's not matte, but it's not not matte. I guess it is, it's more, I guess, I don't know. Who knows, it's gorgeous. It just fills in them pores. Sometimes I go in with two layers cause I want it to be like really hardcore right here. So I just like shove that in my pores. Now I always mix my Fit Me Dewy and the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear. And I do most, I use most of this, and then I just put one pump of the NARS. Really just to get the right shade match, because this is really dark, as you can see. <coughs> a dabble do ya, a dabble do ya. I always put way too much in my hand, but we love a cake face. We're always gonna be caked up. Now let me see that cake. I'm gonna just do one pump of that, and um, this Wet n Wild sponge is just as good as a beauty blender, so if you're broke girl fabulous like me, then you should definitely get this Wet n Wild sponge. It's the purple one. It's very vagina slay. I'm like super sorry for the cre creaking of the chair. It's super not okay, and I will never film in the chair again. Sorry. I'm a handy window. I'm a handy window. I should, should I get closer to the camera? Oh my god, epic fail. <laughs> epic fail. No one gonna look tan. Say bye bye to pale face. Cuss for the not so friendly ghost. I say that every time, but. <gasps> Talk about creaky deaky. Oh my god. This is hungry. I'm gonna make breakfast after I do this video for sure. Four schools and seven holes, okay? So this is like everyday makeup routine. Raccoon eyes, nude lip edition. Cause this is really what I do every day, except I don't do the eyes. So what the foundation's looking like. So very fly and sexy. Next, I just go in with this NYX Wonder Stick. It's really good. This is the fair medium shade, I'm pretty sure. And I just grind the cheeks down. And then do a little bit on my forehead. Blend that out with the spongy, dungy, dungy. <laughs> and this is very cool toned, so it just gives me some sculpt to the face, even though I should probably get the medium shade because I'm I very much, I'm very much a tan bias. I'm very tan. 
I'm probably not even going to use this footage because my hairline looks not the best. I hate showing off my hairline always like lay my baby hairs down or I don't know. I just hate showing off my fucking square ass hairline. I always chisel the nose too. Do cream br I always ugh, I always do cream brush. I always do cream brush. This is Elf in Dazzling Peony. It's Dazzling Peony Elf Cream Blush. I, I don't know why I just couldn't say it, but it's really good. And I just go ham on my cheeks. And I do this before I put on concealer. Because I do powder blush too. See, the skin looks very pretty. Very pretty, very pretty. Like, very pretty. It's fetus cream. And I just apply like a very healthy helping of that because it all disappears like blush. You can never have enough blush because it always disappears. Now I go in with concealer. The infallible full wear is my fave. That or the e.l.f. Um, camel concealer. I like this one more though. Gotta love Miss L'Oreal. And I blend that out with my beauty blender. And I just put a tiny bit under the eyes. Whenever I blend out my concealer, I go in an upwards motion, like think of Bella Hadid, think Snatch, think Fox, so always blend your concealer up. I don't like a cakey concealer, I like it with something like that, you know, a very light, beat the Hello Kitty mirror, oh, oh my god. But with whatever is left on the brush, I always go over the nose contour and kind of like snatch it out, the left over from the beat. That's what the face looks like. As soon as possible, we don't want the concealer to crease on us. We're just gonna set it with the Fit Me Loose Powder. And I always take a different beauty blender. This is the Real Techniques Powder Sponge, and I prefer it for powder. It just really picks it up and applies the product very gracefully and delicately and amazingly. So I set under my eyes with this, trying to avoid the cheeks because I like the cream blush to kind of still have a sheen to it and not be so set so I don't really focus the powder on there and I try to avoid as you see I go up with the powder I'm trying to explain this without being overzealous because I know you guys if some people are good at makeup and can just kind of look at something and replicate it and that's how I I was gifted with that talent thank the lord but I'm trying to explain the tips or the steps that I feel. <laughs> wow. Wow. We've reached new lows. But I just set the T-zone and actually the forehead because I'm gonna get mad oily later. And it's like 7 o'clock in the morning. Depending on what I'm doing, I always powder differently. So today I'm gonna have my makeup on for very long. So I'm gonna go in with the powder puff. But usually I wouldn't go this heavy with the powder. I just want this makeup to actually stay and look really cute because I'm gonna be doing pictures in the mall which is like fluorescent lighting so this has got to be very good okay Woo. feed the nails to set the rest of my face i take the fit me pressed powder and this is in the shade sun beige i think it's in the same it's in the same shade as my foundation again the creaky chair do we love it and i set the perimeter of my face with this because it's a little warmer and like flash photography, I like to have um, different color powders around my face. Like in flash, I like my under eyes to be really bright and then the rest of my face to be normal looking. This is really extra, but I always go in with two bronzers. I go in with Hoola on my nose and then Laguna for the rest of my face. Laguna by NARS and this is by Benefit, this Hoola bronzer go over my nose contour slightly like just go like that so it doesn't bake on the part that I want to sculpt so I just take a little bit and dab off the excess and I try to avoid the powder in the middle sometimes I grab it on accident do you see that and we're gonna have to buy WD-40 for this chair for sure for sure and I always have a really good eye for like seeing if something's even or not. Like this nose contour is a little uneven, so we're just gonna... 
Yeah. No way to take Miss NARS. Because the girls love NARS in the 2000s, so I love NARS now. And I like going pretty ham. And I just lightly like dust it. We don't want too much pressure. I say I go ham, but then I say lightly dust, so it's kind of confusing. And then I try to do the perimeter of my face like Kim Kardashian. Look at the skin so far. It's really, really cute. And then I just go with this Sephora palette that's really old, it's like from 2016, so I, you could probably get like an infection from using this. But I just go in with the light pink, any light pink blush that's very, very light, and it's shimmery as well. And I just go ham. And then I take the darker one and I just kind of go on the apple. Now we finally got to the party you've all been waiting for. We're going to do the eyeshadow, the infamous raccoon eyes. So firstly I just take a fluffy brush and go into that Huma bronzer. I just kind of go haphazard with it. This is just the brown transition shade to really warm up the black whenever we put it down. I accidentally dipped into Laguna and Laguna has shimmer on it. Oh, wait. Oh. I'm just deepening up the crease, going in circular motions. This is just a wet and wild blender brush. Nothing special. And we want it to look 2000, so you don't really want to blend it. And I have a bunch of lid space. I can really take this brown pretty high. I don't really fan it out because we don't really want a wing. We want it kind of circular, so you just kind of keep it like before the art. Right where your arch or your eyebrow is, that's where you kind of stop. You don't want to go in a wing motion. Oops, just dropped two of my eyeshadow palette. For you. <gasps> I just dropped my other one and hurt my nail. <sighs> now it's time for the black. It's going to get very scary. So I go in with this Jeffree Star Morphe palette and this is my favorite black eyeshadow. If you want to do a smoky eye, I'd always recommend a very precise tiny blender because it keeps the black on your lid. You don't want it to look crazy. I mean, I like a very blown out smoky eye, but that's not really the look we're going for. We're going for a very like, I don't know, specific look. We're not going for the whole like gothic, um, hot topic adjacent kind of look. We're not going for that. So we're just going to start tapping the black on the lid and kind of go a little bit lower than your eye. Like this is the hot spot right here. Kind of go a little bit lower to meet your bottom lash line. But keep it circular. If you know what I mean. Applying more as you see fit. And then I just stamp the black on the lid to finish it off so it's like extra black. Take the brush that we used for the Huma bronzer and then just kind of slightly diffuse the edges so it just looks like that. Now I am just going to go into the black eyeshadow and do my lower lash line. With my lower lash line, I just go and stamp it on the outermost corner and then lightly drag it. Do you see that? And pull it up to meet the eyeshadow, just like that. Now I'm going to go in with gel liner on my lash line, of course. In the 2000s, they always did borderline. I need to sharpen this eyeliner before I move Amigo blind. Why do I look like Britney Spears with a freaking... Whenever I do my black eyeshadow and my waterline black. Like, it's crazy. I look like Britney Spears. I'm just going to apply some eyelashes and mascara and then I will be right back to do the lips which a lot of people are asking for the lip combo and I will be sharing that in a sec. So the lip combo that I was wearing in that TikTok was MAC Strip Down and MAC Myth. So I'm going to firstly start off with a freshly sharpened pencil and I always do a lip scrub and prep with a little lip balm. Today I'm using baby lips. 
I don't know why I'm out of breath. <laughs> I always use a really close up mirror and I never really define the cupid's bow. This is the prettiest lip liner ever. I love this shade of nude. Now that I'm done with the lip liner, I'm just going to go in with Myth, and it is very gorgeous to me. It is the palest nude that MAC carries, I'm pretty sure. And I just dab this on the center of the lips. That is the finished lip. That's what the combo looks like together. I'm gonna go throw on my outfit so I can show you the finished product and then we will be done. Alrighty guys, this is the finished look. Alrighty guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. I really enjoyed making it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Kisses to my bitches.